All right, Josh, you're following this weather that's coming in this weekend for the Memorial Day weekend. Today you said, you know, take it in. It might be the last day where yeah. you can really enjoy it because some changes is a are coming. This stressful weekend. Yeah, yeah, I think this is the nicest day we've yeah. got until probably Sunday. Uh, tomorrow and Saturday things go downhill. Now, we're now getting into that time period where, we, where we're talking about details and mm -hmm. we're going to be able to start to say, okay, this period to this period will be wettest, then we'll be dry, then this period to this period. Overall, the past couple of days, we've just been kind of saying, hey, this Heads is the up. general yeah. idea. Yeah. So it's let's start way. breaking this down for you as we head through the day today. The clouds are definitely on the increase, but we're getting some filtered sunshine through here. Uh, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. Temperatures are into the low to mid 70s now here as we head to the lunch hour at 75 in Hanahan. We're at 74 right now in Goose Creek, 74 in North Charleston, 73 Johns Island. It's 72 on James Island at 74 on the Isle of Palms. We're in the low to mid 70s area wide. This is a really, really nice start to the lunch hour here with filtered sunshine will be partly sunny through the day. Highs will be in the mid to upper 70s with a northeast wind at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. And there will be a late day shower risk. OK, as some scattered showers will likely work in off the Atlantic through 2 p.m. Those clouds will continue to thicken up by the time we get to five. Many of us may be overcast. Now, there'll still be some breaks in there, uh, but the clouds are really going to start to thicken up as we move into the evening hours, upper 60s to right around 70 at 8 o'clock. Winds and waves forecast. We've got a small craft advisory up for the harbor, a gale warning up for our coastal waters after dark. As seas will build to about 9 feet later today. So probably not the best day to be out on the water, that's for sure. And conditions get even worse tomorrow. As showers develop overnight, wind speeds pick up to about 15 to 20. We'll be in the upper 50s to low 60s. Showers likely tomorrow as we're watching our storm organize. You can see a large area of disturbed weather right now across Florida, the Gulf of Mexico, extending out into the Atlantic. And right around here is where we're going to start to see the development of this little coastal low and it's going to track in our direction. And here's what it means for you as we head into tomorrow and Saturday showers likely. Please note that I'm not saying widespread all day rain because I don't think that's what we're going to see with this. Showers will be likely. It'll come in waves. We'll see some rumbles of thunder. There will be some bursts of heavy rain at times. And that could cause some minor flooding, particularly along the coast and then farther north up toward Georgetown County into the Grand Strand. Strong wind gusts too. out by the water. We could see a few of those going up to 45. I think most of our wind gusts are going to be in the 20s and 30s tomorrow and Saturday as we move to Memorial Day or Sunday and Memorial Day. We're still going to see some scattered showers because the area of low pressure is going to be up into the upstate or maybe even central Georgia. Uh, in between those scattered showers, we're going to see intervals of sunshine. So Sunday into Monday is not going to be absolutely horrible, but you will have to navigate around scattered showers and maybe a few thunderstorms. Now there's a big dome of cold air that's going to be aloft over us, and that's going to be just enough to give us some instability to where one or two of these storms could produce a maybe a damaging wind gust or two and perhaps some small hail. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal, but it is something to watch as temperatures will climb into the mid 70s to near 80. Thanks to those intervals of sunshine as we head toward Sunday and Memorial Day. So there are your alert days for Friday and Saturday with overnight lows in the 50s, highs in the low 70s and 60s by Saturday. Rain probability Friday and Saturday is at about 60%. Sunday, we're going to be in the mid 70s with a risk for a shower. That rain probability at about 40% for Sunday. And then as we head toward Monday, there is a shower risk for Memorial Day, a high right around 80 degrees. Notice that rain chance falling to about 40% to 30%. Count on two for the Low Country's only 10 day outlook. As we move into next week, we'll be in the mid 80s to near 90 by Wednesday into Saturday, partly cloudy. Much warmer highs in the mid 80s to near 90, except low to mid 80s along the beaches.